In the previous video, we discussed about the rational functions and the laws of exponents. Now, in this video, we will discuss the questions related to rational exponents. First of all, we are going to find out the side length of square using area formula. For example, this is a square having side length x and x. Since the square have the same dimensions, so both the dimensions are represented by x, same dimension. Area of a square is basically side length multiplied by side length. Area of a square is side length multiplied by side length. And side length here is represented by x. Area of square, I represent it with capital A. Side length is basically x multiplied by x. So it will become a equals x. Using the laws of exponents, the power or the exponent both the bases will combine like 1 plus 1. So it will become a equals x square. So I want to find out this x. So I will take square root on both sides. Taking square root on both sides. This square root, square root has basically exponent 1 raised to power 2. So it will become 1 raised to power 2. And this x square raised to 1 raised to power 2. So a raised to power half equals. This will be cancelled out and we will get only x. So basically I got side length of a square. Side length of a square equals square root of area that is equals to area raised to power 1 by 2. For example, we are given a square having area 16 centimeter square. For example, we are given with the area of a square that is basically 16 centimeter square and we want to find out the side length in centimeter then how we are going to find out we will just use this formula side length will be equals to square root of area and you know very well you are given with the value of area that is 16 so square root of 16 equals 4 so this means side length equals 4 centimeter now if you have to find out side length using volume formula, side length of a cube, side length of a cube. If you have to find out the side length of a cube, then you will use the volume formula. Volume of cube equals side length multiply side length multiply side length so volume equals x multiply x multiply x so it becomes x cube because using the laws of exponents all the powers are added together that makes 3 in order to find this value of x I will remove this 3 from here by taking cube root on both sides I will take cube root on both sides. The value of cube root in rational form is basically 1 over 3. So it will become x cube raised to power 1 over 3. So it becomes v 1 over 3 equals x. So side length of a cube equals cube root of value of volume. That is basically equals volume raised to power 1 over 3. So if you are given some value of volume of a cube. For example, you are given volume of cube equals 27 centimeter cube. Find its side length. How you are going to find out the side, side length of a cube? Side length of a cube equals 
cube root of volume that is 27 so cube root of volume 20 so you can directly find out this value through your calculator and also you can find it out manually how you're going to find out it manually make 27 as cube this 27 can be written as 3 cube 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 makes 27 so it is basically 3 cube by removing this cube root this cube root 3 cube raised to power 1 over 3 so it will be cancelled out so we will be left with 3 centimeter so you can directly find out the value through calculator from here or we can solve it manually like this so in short, rational exponents is basically square root is an exponent of 1 by 2. Square root is an exponent of 1 by 2. For example, the square root is represented like this. If I have square root of 4, this means I have 4 raised to power 1 by 2. Cube root. Cube root is represented as 3 cube root is an exponent of 1 over 3 nth root is an exponent of 1 divided by n this can be written like this and it shows 1 divided by n while discussing the rational exponents radical a number raised to a rational exponent is called radical a number raised to a rational exponent a number raised to a rational exponent is basically called a radical. For example, you are given with b raised to power 1 over n, it can be written as nth root of b. nth root of b. If you have b raised to power m over n, it can be written as, I will separate the rational part like this using the law of exponent in reverse form. And then this 1 divided by n can be reversed as the nth root. So it will become nth root of b raised to power m. Consider an example. You have to evaluate and simplify this 27 raised to power 2 over 3. This can be simplified as separate the rational exponent like this you can write it 2 over 3 as 2 multiplied by 1 over 3 so I separated 27 square exponent 1 over 3 now this exponent 1 over 3 is basically cube root so it became cube root of 27 square now cube root of 27 square 27 square means 27 multiplied by 27 that I got 729. You can directly solve it using your calculator or manually like I shown before or through calculator you're solving the cube root of the 729 you will get the value 9 and if I want to solve this question 8 raised to power 5 over 6 multiply with square root of 8 divided by 8 raised to power 5 over 3. How I'm going to solve it? I will just 8 raised to power 5 over 6 is basically multiplied with square root of 8 and square root of 8 can also be written as 8 raised to power 1 over 2 because you know very well this value of square root is something raised to power 1 over 2 and this the division denominator as it is I have written denominator as it is now I will since the bases are same so I will combine the power using the law of exponent the powers will be added for the numerator and then 5 divided by 6 plus 1 divided by 2 you know very well how to solve it use the value after solving it and it will be 4 divided by 3 8 raised to power 5 over 3 now using the law of division law of exponent for division 4 divided by 3 minus 5 divided by 3 I will get 8 raised to power minus 1 over 3 now this exponent is negative 
I will make it positive. It will become 1 divided by 8 raised to power 1 over 3. And it will be solved as 1 divided by 1 over 3 is basically cube root. So I will solve it using calculator and I will get cube root of 8 is basically 2. I can also solve it manually like 1 over cube root 8 can be split up as 2 raised to power 3. And if I remove this cube root, I will just 2 cube raised to power 1 over 3. So this 3 will be cancelled out with this 3 and I will be left with 1 over 2. Now see both the answers are same. So you can solve it manually and as well as using your calculator. For more videos just subscribe the channel so you can get more updates timely.